With the 1.4 Wavelink update, you can now use both VST3 and VST2 plugins to enhance all audio passing through your Wavelink channels. In this video, we'll show how to add VST plugins to Wavelink on a Windows PC, and how to apply audio effects to your Wavelink channels. Before you begin, make sure to download and install the latest version of Wavelink at elgato.com forward slash downloads. First, you will need to have your VST plugins installed to your computer before they can be added to Wavelink. VST3 plugins, as per VST guidelines, should be automatically installed to C, Program Files, Common Files, VST3. Wavelink is already set up to find your VST3 plugins in this directory. For the older VST2 plugins, you will want to have them installed to a single folder of your choice. Next, open Wavelink. From here, go to Wavelink Settings, then go to the Audio Effects tab, and here, click on Choose VST2 Folder, and then navigate to the folder where your VST2 plugins are installed. When you're finished, click on Rescan Folders. Wavelink will now scan through your chosen folder to find any compatible plugins, and will then provide a warning if it detects any possible compatibility issues. Once the scan is complete, you're free to close your Wavelink settings. You're now ready to add audio effects to your Wavelink channels. To start out, look at the bottom of an audio channel. You'll see a new audio effects button. Clicking on this will open a pop-up window where you can add in each audio effect. Click on the plus button and choose the effect you'd like to add. We'll choose a simple noise gate. When you select an effect, it is added to your audio effects list for this particular channel and a new window will appear showing the control panel for the audio effect. While most VSTs have control panels, there are some that do not have any controls and are simply plug and play. Inside of this new control panel window, you can control all settings provided by the effect. Here, we're able to adjust the threshold for this noise gate. This is a simple way to filter out quiet background noise since it will sit below the threshold and thus be muted. When you're finished adjusting settings, Simply close the control panel and your settings are saved. You can add another audio effect using the same process. To help with managing multiple effects, you are also able to rename and reposition the effects to change their order and affect how audio is processed. When using multiple audio effects, audio is processed in order from top to bottom. The first effect in the list processes the audio first, then the next, and then further down the list. For example, we have a noise reduction effect, noise gate, and then a compressor. I want the audio to be processed by the noise reduction effect before the compressor so that the compressor does not amplify any unwanted noise. After the noise reduction, we have the noise gate. This gate allows sound through when it is above a certain threshold. When it's below this threshold, that audio is muted. The last effect in the chain is the compressor which only applies compression to the sounds that the noise gate has let through. Compression reduces the volume of loud sections and brings up quiet areas. With this effects chain, only clean processed audio is coming into Wavelink from our Wave device. You can add up to 10 audio effects per channel and can choose if effects are enabled or disabled for audio sent to your stream mix or your monitor mix but please note this will control all audio effects for that particular wave channel. You can toggle on or off individual audio effects, however, that specific effect will be toggled on or off for both your stream mix and monitor mix. And don't forget, audio effects can be added to any channel inside of Wavelink, not just your microphone channel. For example, maybe the game you're streaming has loud explosions. You can add a limiter, or compressor to help reduce those loud sections and make it more comfortable for viewers. A bit like a type of clip guard, but for your other audio channels. Or maybe you're in a group call with some friends and someone has some loud fans in their background. You can add a noise reduction effect to clean that up in real time. Something important to keep in mind, each effect you add to a channel may add some noticeable delay. This delay is from the individual effect having its own buffering and processing stage. The more effects you add, the more this may affect the latency of this particular channel. If you have any questions about audio effects, 
or feedback about effects you use, let us know in the comments section down below. Do you have a VST that you love to use with Wavelink? To learn more about getting the most out of your Elgato products, subscribe to us on youtube.com forward slash Elgato Workshop.